Hey guys, Spartan117GW here today, and we're gonna be talking about sponsorships, how to get sponsored, uh, and that'll also lead into like, you know, reviewing and influencers and this, that, and the other, but let's go ahead and just break it down. So, being a sponsored person or a brand ambassador or, um, or influencer, or whatever, um, you are someone who promotes the brand, you are someone who promotes the message, promotes the product, this, that, and the other. Uh, so it's a give and take, you know, nothing's truly free um, because you are investing time and energy. Um, you know, as a, an evangelist, which the word has its root in religion, where people would you know, go and spread the message, spread the religion, um, you have some interesting roles and duties and stuff like that. Now, before you become someone who is sponsored or evangelist, there's a couple different things you guys need to learn, especially if that's kind of what you want to be. but. In reality, that may or may not, or really should or shouldn't really be your goal. So, I'll, I'll break it down with the typical sponsor email or whatever that a lot of companies get. And I'm a, I guess I could say I'm kind of a unique duck in the pond because I'm someone who is a content creator and I also work for a company that makes airsoft products. So I get to see both sides of the fence. I understand what it's like being a content creator trying to partner with companies or trying to produce content and you know obviously partnerships definitely help without uh, help out with that and as someone who uh, initiates or uh, I guess you could say um, completes that partnership when someone reaches out I'll be like okay this is something that's good for the company this that, and the other so I, I get to see both sides of the fence there so typically someone will email the company and they'll be like hey um, we have so many followers uh, we want to um, review your products, we want to push the products, we want to promote the products. Now, the first things you need to do, sources and links. Have those sources, have those links, you know, at least your team, your page, or whatever, your blog, or your YouTube channel, or something. Numbers talk, uh, but they don't talk by themselves. Then you also kind of want to have a strong brand image. You know, if you have a website, if you have a logo, everything kind of fits nice and neatly together, that'll go a long way. That helps a lot. It really shows that you have your shit together. And now if you're going for sponsorships, if you're reaching out for people to invest their time and money in you, you're going to need that. You're going to need to have your shit together. Um, pardon the language, but that's the honest truth. And, you know, you, f you tend to find, you see all these emails where it's like, you know, a lot, and it, a lot of it's kids too, and this is kind of for those kids to kind of tell you, it's like, hey, you know, you can't just have everything given to you, you really have to have a foundation, you have to have a base product or a base that, or a platform, I guess is a better word for it, that you can use that will benefit the person that you're reaching out to. Um, you know, it's a give and take, you know, you can't just ask for something and then be given free stuff, and there's, there has to be a, uh, you know, give and take there. Uh, and of course, it doesn't always work out. But, you know, for example, someone will reach out and they'll be like, hey, you know, I've got like 500 followers on Instagram or whatever. And, um, you know, I've got an airsoft team and we train with special forces tactics and this, that, and the other. And just so you know, this whole video can apply to anything. It can apply to firearms, it can apply to gaming world, sporting world, everything's very similar in this regard. But, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, so you kind of have a small platform but, and you're not really developing your brand or you haven't really developed your brand. You, you basically just haven't grown up yet. Um, and then also it's like, you know, no one really knows about you. No one really knows who you are. Um, you know, it, you're probably going to get a no. <laughs> you're probably going to just get a no. Or, you know, people will give you a nice no, but they'll probably give you a no. Um, you know, part of it, you know, you just have to be established. And here's the thing. The first thing, the first goal in your mind, if you want to get a sponsorship, shouldn't even really be to get a sponsorship. Your goal should be making content that you like, content that you love, and that will kind of pave the way. And you have to have a good, unique personality. You have to have, like I said, the good branding, everything that kind of comes into it. But from the very beginning, your content needs to speak for itself. And that will kind of take you on the path of where you want to go. 
Um, good examples are like Robo Murray. Uh, he's a really excellent website. He's got cool apparel. He really built a strong brand for himself. And even though he didn't have the greatest following in the beginning, he demanded a lot of respect. Like, you know, he, when he showed up and when he talked and when his presence and how he presents information when he reviews products, the production value was up there. It was really great. I mean, it was fantastic. Same goes for Airsoftology. Now, Airsoftology is a big name now, but back in the day, you know, he was doing content way above where he was reaching, and I'm really glad that he's come full circle, and now he's really, I mean, he's one of the top dogs out there. He's really, you know, where he should be. Um, another guy's Milson Media, those guys, uh, you know, they kind of came out of nowhere, and um, we're able to bring in a really extra focus to photography and media within Milsim or Airsoft, and you know their name pretty much makes sense, Milsim Media, and they produce high quality content. Uh, they work with a lot of great industry partners. They were able to establish those partners because they made good content first. So when it comes to partnerships, don't worry about the sponsorships. Worry about the content. Worry about making something that you enjoy that others will enjoy. You know, be effective and smart and innovative with how you use the platforms. The platforms are evolving all the time. Forgive me if I talk with my hands a lot, I just, I do that. Um, and if you do that, those good things will come. I'm a good example, Stone Mountain 64, the guy who plays uh, video games and in the very beginning he was that over the top gamer who was like, you know, this is Delta Kilo 64, move it in, blah, 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 blah. People love the content, and that got him noticed, and that kind of, you know, brought him into the limelight. Uh, Drewski is another good example. He does a lot of good video game stuff. Started out as an airsofter, now he's huge in the gaming world. Um, I mean, any number of people that you can pick. Um, so if, if you have a good, strong, and, and things, you gotta stand out. You gotta stand out, because if you don't stand out, I mean, you could have a pretty good following, and but if you don't stand out, the companies won't really see the value in you. Um, or value added. And one thing too is you can have a decent amount of followers, but if all the con you, content you have is not even original content, it's just reposted content, then it's like, well, what's this guy's identity? He's just using other people to promote. And, you know, some of the accounts have gotten pretty big, but even then it's kind of like, you know, you know, people, people want to be like somebody. They want to be like uh, whatever the well-known people in the sport or whatever, right? It's kind of hard to be somebody if all you're doing is reposting other people's stuff. If you have your own original identity and content, people will follow you. People will appreciate your message. Now, one guy, for example, who's a good friend of mine who's blown up in the firearm side, Grantham or Garantham, however you want to pronounce it. He went from 4,000 subs to like 50,000 subs and his view to sub ratio is outstanding. Um, he blew up in the firearms industry and he's got some good outlets because he reviews for soft rep and loadout room and stuff like that. But the guy, the way he presents his information is probably one of the best reviewers that I've seen. Production value's up there, lighting is up there. I mean, to be honest, his quality of video is probably better than this. Uh, but he's a really great guy and he's, uh, and he's got a good background. And you know, if you have a military background in the firearms industry, that's definitely gonna help you. But how you present the information will add layers to that. It'll it'll add much more value to it because there's a lot of guys with backgrounds and a lot of guys who, you know, have those type of things, but they just don't know how to present the information very well. So the lesson of the day is basically to invest in yourself before trying to reach out and uh, grab partners and evangel and to become evangelist or an influencer or whatnot. They may there may be a bunch of different words but they all basically mean the same thing. Um, at the end of the day, you partner with someone and then there's that expectation and then you're promoting their message, their, their products and their values and uh, everything that the company is about. So sponsorships aren't free and if you're just trying to get sponsorships just to get free stuff, that ain't gonna work out so well. Make sure you bring something to the table. Numbers talk, but even on top of numbers, personality talks. Um, I mean, you'll be surprised how many people that um, I think have gotten where they are or people that have approached the companies that I work for and have actually made progress because they had good personalities or whatnot. And, um, and, and one thing too is, you know, companies want to, um, they want to invest in growing brands, in growing personalities, right? They want to catch on to you while you're growing um, so that way they can establish a relationship by the time you're big. So 
just because you don't have 50 gajillion followers doesn't mean you can't get a sponsor. You just have to have all that other stuff backing you up. Content, personality, branding, all that stuff. Um, so once you have that, you can go ahead and type that email, send to whoever it is you're reaching out to, and hopefully this information will arm you with what you need to have. Because I guarantee you, if you don't have that information, if you're not providing links and sources and maybe references to other content you've done in the past and this, that, and the other, it's almost like a job interview, to be honest, then you're going to get rejected and it's going to suck. And I'm seeing these messages from kids all the time. It's like, look, you just need some time to grow up a little, just need some time to develop some content. You'll be on your way. So hopefully you guys took something away from this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW. Be sure to check out my website. All kinds of good stuff on there. Um, even have a section for recommended gear because people are always asking me what I run. There's literally, I made a whole section for you guys to check out the stuff that I recommend. Uh, and of course, like I said before, if you have your own website, definitely helps. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.